Hey guys, today I'll be showcasing all the limited champions in Roblox Heroes Online. So you wanna give a huge So you wanna give a huge shout out to Decatry10101 for letting me borrow all of his champions so I can record this video for you guys. So huge thank you to Decatry10101 or else this video would not be possible. And also shout out to Kelly's Hyper. Okay, so now we're gonna be starting off the video. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what all the champions look like in your inventory first. So you're gonna go to inventory, sidekicks, and there's four limited champions. So you have Santa, Thanos, Bakugo, and Skeleton King. So I'm gonna be showing guys all of them, starting off with the oldest one, I think, and then going off to the newest one. So the oldest one is gonna be Bakugo. So let's go ahead and equip Bakugo. And the ability that goes with Bakugo, I'm gonna be showing guys that. So um, what the ability that goes with Bakugo is, is Bakugo's Gauntlet. So now that I got those to show you guys, we're gonna be starting off the comparison video. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using a Bakugo. So here's what Bakugo looks like for you guys. So you're gonna summon him. That's what it looks like. Bakugo right over there. And he does a nice amount of damage. He does like 162, 163 damage. Um, Dakin Tree is right over here. He's letting me test on him. Actually, that did nothing. Oh, it's a 196. That's really, really nice. So, 196, super duper high damage. So we're gonna be testing that again. This time I'm gonna be showing you guys what the move looks like. So let's go ahead and test it. Bakugo. And that's what the move looks like. And what did that do to Deku Tree? 197. Nice. Okay, so um, thank you so much, Deku. So now we're going to be using the Bakugo Gauntlet. So this is the a legendary um, quest item that you get. It's not a limited at all. And it buffs your core control by 60 points and your stamina by 15. So let's go ahead and use this now. Bam, 195 damage, so about the same as you can see right over there. And both of these, all the sidekicks and all of the um, gears, they can be used even while off one has removed your clock, which is nice. So we're gonna go ahead and try again, just to make so it's consistent. So this is what the Bakugo Gauntlets do look like. If you had the Bakugo Gauntlet before, um, it would have transformed to the Bakugo Gauntlet. So try again, 196, so pretty much about the same. So right over there, that's what it does. Okay, so now we're going to be using a um, sidekick called um, Santa. So Santa does not have any um, weapon or limited weapon or any weapon that goes along with his abilities um, from what I know. So here's what Santa looks like. It's kind of like a little special one. So I'm going to be showing you guys what he looks like first. So here you go. This is what Santa looks like. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. 282 damage. Wide over there. You can see that. 282. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to try and show you guys the face of him. Oh, actually, you can see the face of him over here. Psychic. That's what he looks like. And he has an Xmas tree topper, which is this weapon. 2019 Christmas event weapon. Xmas tree topper. That has this little weapon. So, um, Deckard is going to go ahead and test his out. Okay. Let's go ahead and let him test. So that's what he looks like. This is the bomb, a little snowball. Does a crap load of damage, as you can see right over there. So, really, really nice. Okay. I don't know how this did less damage than mine, but it did. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to Thanos. So, Thanos does have um, a weapon that does go along with them. So, Thanos and the weapons that, the I mean, the gears that go along with them are the Infinity Gauntlet the stock infinity gauntlet and also the power stone but i'm going to be using the infinity gauntlet for this because i do not have the power stone so here is thanos so thanos now okay i'm sorry thanos there we go autoclick sucks okay thanos this is what it looks like and then glance at him 223 223 okay so that's what it looks like and that's what his attack does now i'm going to be using the infinity gauntlet over here and that did 160. Okay, Deku's gonna try his out. So let's see what that does. And the cooldown is a little longer on the sidekick. 
They can see that over there. I don't know how that did not, no damage at all, but it didn't. But right over there, mine didn't do any damage at all. And then here he is once again. Ground slam. Pretty nice. So he has the Infinity Blade and the Infinity Gauntlet in his hand. Okay, so now we're going to be using... Um, what is it again? The Skeleton King. So, okay. S um, Skeleton King now. So, Skeleton King, this one came out in the 2019, um, Halloween event. So, it's, a it's the newest limited champion in the game. And this goes along with the Skeletal Scythe, um, limited weapon. So, also from the 2019, um, Halloween event. So, Skeletal Scythe over here. And here is the Skeletal King. So, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and face away so I can show you guys what it looks like. So here's the Skeleton King, and he does that attack right over there. I tested this before, tw like 36, no, it's like 42, 43 damage. It sucks. Do not use the Skeletal King. It's horrible. So yeah, it may seem to be a cool one, but it's insanely bad. So I'm going to be using him again, like a up top view X. So let's go ahead and do a normal view again. I'm going to try and go ahead and attack. So here we go. That's what it looks like. He said to him, oh, he used a skeleton, skeletal scythe for his. And he did a nice amount more damage. So here's the skeletal scythe version. So what the skeletal scythe does, um, on the second move, it's going to have the same attack as the um, skeletal king or the skeleton king. But it does way more damage. So the skeletal, se skeleton king, from our previous testing, it did 32, 33 damage. Really horrible. I'll show you guys it again if I can. But you can trust me that it does like 32, 33 damage from our testing. We tried it multiple times, me and Decatree. So here's a Skeletal Scythe, 183 damage, and as you can see, that one actually hits. So that's what it looks like, and you even get a second ability with the uh, Skeletal Scythe. So that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and try it again. Also, the cooldown is way less. So here is the Skeletal King. I'm going to go ahead and try him out. I don't know why he's not working at all, but once again, 32, uh, 33 damage. So, pretty much the same attack, except that the Skeletal Scythe is way better. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kids in a Pod if you want some more videos like this one. Actually, I did forget to mention, what is the best sidekick and uh, um, a list of the best sidekicks before I do end off the video? Um, best of... Um, the sidekicks. Number one is gonna be Santa. Santa's the best sidekick. Next is Thanos. Then Bakugo. And then Skeleton. Skeleton King. Do not use Skeleton King. That one sucks. Santa's insanely good. Thanos, that one doesn't work at all times, but still pretty nice AoE attack. But I prefer Bakugo over um, Thanos. Santa's still my favorite, but I like Bakugo more than Thanos due to it having a long range. But overall, I think it's Santa's the best. Thanos, second place, Bakugo, third, and then Skeleton King, Skeleton King, fourth, and it's insanely bad. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kids on the Pod if you want some more videos like this one. Hope this helps you out a nice amount on trading, and also maybe just deciding on what champion to use, and maybe entertain you guys a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and once again, huge shout out to Decatree10101. So, bye guys! Cool.